Hello and welcome to the Oracle Policy Modeling tutorial, Getting Started with Oracle Policy Modeling, an end-to-end -end example. Okay, the first thing we want to do is create a new project, so we click on New Project in the command bar. The New Project dialog opens. We now want to give this project a meaningful name, so we type Benefit Eligibility Example into the name field. Click Create on the New Project dialog. We have now successfully added the new project Benefit Eligibility Example. On creating the new project, we are taken to the Rules view. Here you will find the Benefit Eligibility Example Rules document that was automatically created as part of the new project. Double-click on the Rules document to open it in Readiness to Add Rules. The Benefit Eligibility Example Rules document is opened in Microsoft Word and we are prompted to click on the Rule Assistant in the command bar to get started. The Rule Assistant's Rule Entry box is opened. We can now start our rule by typing the conclusion, the applicant is eligible. As we type the conclusion, you will notice that an additional window opens that presents shortcuts for the various types of rules that we may wish to alter. As we continue to type the conclusion, we notice that the text in the shortcuts changes accordingly. Once we finish entering the conclusion, we need to select the rule type we are creating. This is going to be a Boolean rule, so we double-click on Create Boolean Rule. The conclusion, the applicant is eligible if, now appears in the rules document and the rule entry box remains open for us to type in our first condition. We now type the condition, the applicant is employed. We double click on accept condition and add another. The condition, the applicant is employed and, now appears in the rules document. Next, we will enter the condition, the applicant earns over $50,000 per year. When we finish typing this second condition, we press the Enter key to end the editing of this rule and close the Rule Assistant. To ensure that the rule we have just written does not contain any errors, and to save the rule document, we click Validate in the command bar. The Oracle Policy Modeling Error dialog opens, informing us that no errors have been found. Click the OK button to dismiss this dialog. Now that we have completed entering and validating our rule, we exit the rules document by clicking the close button. On exiting the rules document, we are returned to the rules view. Now select the data tab. On the data tab, we can see that three attributes have been automatically created from the validated rule we entered into the rules document. OK, it's time to create the interview that will collect attributes and present the final decision or determination. So let's select the interview tab. To see the default goal associated with the interview, click goals on the command bar. The goals window opens and we can see that our conclusion, the applicant is eligible, has been set as the default goal. For the most part, our interview will use automatically generated screens. However, it is necessary for us to modify the default screen in order to display the final decision. Select the name field of the default screen in the tree on the left. We will now change the title of this screen. Type your eligibility status and press enter. Note that now the screen in the main view reflects this change and displays your eligibility status as the screen title. In order to display the final decision on this screen, we click Add Explanation in the command bar. The Show Explanation for window opens and we select the applicant is eligible. Next, we press the Enter key to select the explanation. We can now see that the explanation has been added to the screen in the main view. OK, we are now ready to test our rule by running the interview. This is done by clicking Debug in the command bar. The Oracle Policy Modeling Debugger opens in the Oracle Web Determinations view. The first automatic screen for your interview now appears. This screen presents a question form of an attribute by asking, is the applicant employed? Select the Yes radio button. Now click the Next button. The second automatic screen is presented with the question concerning the applicant's income. Again, we select the Yes radio button. Again, we click the Next button. We are now presented with the screen containing the final determination. 
This is the Your Eligibility Status screen that we defined before starting the debugger. Note that the applicant's eligibility status is The Applicant is Eligible. To view an explanation of the decision, click on the decision itself. The applicant is eligible because they meet both requirements for eligibility according to our rule. Now, let's see what happens if we change one of their answers. Click on The Applicant Earns Over $50,000 Per Year in the Interview Navigation Bar on the left. We will now change the applicant's income status to indicate that they do not earn over $50,000 per year by selecting the No Radio button. OK, let's click the Next button to return to the Your Eligibility Status screen and see what's happened. Note that because the applicant now fails to meet one of the required conditions, their eligibility status has changed to The applicant is not eligible. Again, to view an explanation of the decision, click on the decision itself. Success! The interview has run and returned the expected results. We can now exit the debugger, so click on the Close button. We are now returned to the interview view. And with that, we conclude our end-to-end -end tutorial in which we have managed to create a new project, add rules to that project, and lastly, run an interview that returned the results we were expecting. Let's give ourselves a big pat on the back. Congratulations. We invite you to learn more about Oracle Policy Automation and stay connected with our active communities. Please take a moment to study this slide so that you'll know where to find us whenever you need us.